welcome back to my channel so still in week 19 this week thought I'd do more regular updates seeing as I've been pretty poor lately and I am wanting my YouTube channel there's people walking about um, gonna put more effort into my YouTube channel and document this pregnancy and hopefully it can help other mothers out there who have one two however many babies and to know how to juggle their time and to remain fit and healthy because you can't pour from an empty cup as we know so if you're happy the family's happy so this week has been busy so it's wednesday now i've had quite a few cancellations of in-person personal training colds flu season changing um people going on holiday so quite a few it's like my this week and last week were my quietest um, times since running since running DigiCoach. So I've taken advantage of that and I am creating content for YouTube. I am promoting my Pilates class through Menstrua Sterling. Um, and yeah, it's going really well. I've been practicing my routine a few times, taking bits out, adding bits in. People have been filling in parkues like the health questionnaire, uh, which is great so I can alter the class and modify it for these people it seems that i am reaching the people i want to work with so that's fantastic they all know that this isn't a high intensity class there's too many of them so what this is going to do is de-stress busy mums busy people in general with high pressure jobs or if you are a mother or a father um running a household trying to juggle that a career housework um and then your own active life and mental health it's hard it's tough so it's about self-care and taking that time out for yourself to relax your parasympathetic nervous system rather than ramp up your central nervous system which most um which most classes do now so yeah i've been practicing the pilates i've got all my it's just making sure i've got everything so i love to be organized so i'm running through the class in my head and everything that i need tomorrow like the equipment and um, my pop-up sign my par cues in case people didn't want to fill out the health questionnaire and the waiver online you know if they're not because i am appealing to older people as well so i've had to go in town today and print a load of those off jot form is a fantastic way to uh, do forms online and they're all secure forms as well and you there's a tool now where you can add payment options not sure about that yet i'm using trainerize through that it's really simple to set up um but on jot form you can have five five yeah five free forms per account before you have to start paying for it and it, they are expensive forms good but you know, if you've got a lot and lot, a lot of clients, like hundreds of people, um, it'd be a good way to invest into that. So I've got some uniform arriving tomorrow. It'll likely get to me after my class, my first class, which is annoying. But hey ho, my mother's coming to my first Pilates class. I'm really excited to meet and build a rapport with people around menstrual start getting and start getting the word out about DigiCoach in surrounding areas and start building a good client base so I'm really excited of the opportunity I've been everywhere like surrounding towns contacting many Facebook groups although there are some characters that um, haven't been very helpful so I have been to the library today I was going to get steps in and it but it's raining normally i hear you saying so what it's just raining and i do tell my clients the same thing but i forgot my jacket and it's actually torrential rain yeah i'd go that far yeah so it's quite heavy the rain got three and a half thousand steps in steps haven't been great this week and it's wednesday and i've not even trained yet i've been prioritizing my pilates if there was something that was all hands on deck for an essay training and steps to take a back seat and just manage my food um, but that's fine. So a little bit nervous with the Pilates class tomorrow. Um, and I'm expecting, so I've got enough equipment for about 17 people at the moment. I say about 17 people, 17 people. Um, people who have confirmed and paid, looking at seven. So that breaks even, well, breaks even and then some. So a bit of profit is made from that. So that's good. So good start. 
but I do I do like to push myself to get more people in so we'll see I mean a lot of people a lot of trainers will advertise the services early on and then not do it again but I plan to advertise Pilates the Pilates class every week um, and I've got a big pop-up sign as well so I'll show you guys it tomorrow morning that so people can do the Pilates and have a look and have a look at that and see how that can help them uh, but yeah I like it I'm a bit nervous because obviously like I'm 19 weeks pregnant and some of the exercises they're safe for me right now but I'm gonna have to just Pilates as I go um, and it's just making sure everyone's still getting as much benefit out of it as they should as they can um, I mean I've got a plan of action it's literally just the unknown you know um, you put, you're putting yourself out there, you come out of your comfort zone, it's always going to be nerve wracking. But again, it's it's experience, it's good. If it fails, then they'll learn from it. So, yeah, got my forms, I printed off about six. Um, there's some people already filled in waivers, so I just need to make sure everybody does that.